Hey guys, Brozan here. I'm gonna just do a farming video today. It's been a hot minute since we did one. So starting out, this is a GCD focused galleon uh, running merchant outfitting for the dubs. So I'm on, uh, I think, 25% dubs on this one. I probably should have looked at the health bar on that before I shot an explosive. We'll look at the uh, ship itself in just a minute. Probably go after that raider next. Shot sinks this boat. All right, now that we're on the open water, let's look at the boat itself. So, uh, using merchant theme, and we're sitting on a little higher wake than you'd probably want. 25% dubs, and we're focusing on greater and lesser. Uh, we use our regular, mostly to expedite, to be honest, but we also use it for uh, galleon sinking. Start with our icebreaker. Pretty much every boat we encounter, we're an icebreaker first. A couple of shots off. We did not hit very well with that icebreaker. Merchant, you really feel the loss of that accuracy from Sentry. Start casting Chain Lightning as we rope over. Rope hits all of our stuff that we want to hit. Cast Meteor Swarm, cast Pain Spike, and loot. Humanoid boats are pretty simple. Uh, why can I have bombs? Okay, my bag didn't refresh. 1900, so let's take this with a bomb. I think my bombs do exactly 1400. This may not sink. Yeah. One of the problems with running a non monkey boat, your bombs suck. No boats on track. I'm doing this in the morning. Um, seems like the mornings have been a lot busier lately. U.S. mornings. So I, I assume it's because the Polish and Russian boaters are out heavily in the mornings. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't really talk to any of those guys. I'm not going after a small fishing. Got nothing on track. We're going to go through a reload sequence. There's a galleon. That's what we get for reloading. Uh, we're going to actually stop for a second and get a whole repair off. We'll have our cannons available by the time we float over here. Hey, good deal, we're in some boats. We're going to go ahead and just go through the repair sequence. Seems how we've got the timer. It takes... 20 seconds because we'll start once we start the guns. All right. Icebreaker. Start mass curse. Move in when his cannons go off. Mass curse the center of mass. That's fun to say. Another poison routine. Drive away. 
wait on his cannon shot to hit the water. Cannon shot never hit the water. We outranged the cannons. It's actually a mistake because now his cannons are going to shoot. We've got our poisons. We're going to start casting. We're going to jump on board. We're going to land our cast. Eat a mushroom. Meteor swarm. Poison strike. And uh, pain spike. Pirates are next target. I should have stopped and spyglassed somewhere in all those humanoid corpses. I didn't. This one gets a bomb. Looks like we've got some northwest, some southwest, and one south. So we're gonna go southwest. We've got our icebreaker back up. This is a medium, we're not gonna pre-buff. Pretty much gonna icebreaker and then board. We wanna board as soon as possible, even though we haven't poisoned everything. Um, that way we're doing full damage ticks. We're just gonna let this tick down. I don't want to be completely out of mana. On these boats, with my chain, you actually don't even have to poison this stuff. It's just habit. The AoE would likely kill them. Tradesman next. Um, we're going to wait the ten seconds on Icebreaker. Doing things half-assed and trying to go too fast will get you in bad situations. Now this is what I was talking about. I actually don't have to be poisoning this stuff. I'm doing it out of habit. <laughs> Say that and I we don't hit everything. So we're just gonna poison it. We need a hull repair. So when we get back over there, we'll do a in combat hull repair and then hit our expedite. Oh, we got a skill ball. Those tend to sit around and never get used. This might not sink it because of the accuracy. Miss. Not a good deal. Medium submerged. Uh, I'm going to bless just because I like that extra little tick of mana. We'll start meditation while our spyglass is down um, and we're moving in. As soon as we get within, yeah, we need to hit it now. What we're waiting on. Sales are broke, so we can Guess we're gonna take a bomb. We could use our lesser here to sink it, but we want to. Oh, we forgot that repair. Uh, we want to use it on that druidic down there. Oh, there's a rune in there. My uh, restock obviously doesn't grab runes. We're going to wait to repair because we're going to board this small really quick. Oh, 
Oh, um, we're gonna give that a regular cannon shot, just to be safe. Kill the small one first. <laughs> yeah. Kill the small one. No. I forgot to take cure. We're gonna be stuck in combat anyway. It's not like it matters. Uh, this might take two shots. We're just gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot it. I'll start that in combat repair we talked about earlier. Then we'll hit our expedite so in combat is available. Ah, oh, I really need to go through a reload. You might wonder why I'm bothering with all these small ships. They're worth 2,000 dubs. I mean, and I'm sinking one per minute. That's still not bad. And you get a 10% chance of uh, something actually good dropping from the crew. This is what I was talking about with humans. I'm going to poison the captain chain. Hey, we will kill the captain. And then we'll take his bike and everything's done. See, I could have cast poisons there, but just casting the direct damage does as much. That's sitting on some pretty significant. Uh, I'm on nine damage on ship golds, so I wouldn't suggest doing that for most people. Uh, we're going to reload here and drop a bomb. Oh, no. I didn't think that through. Crap. We're going to have to wait on our reload to sink this. Or we're going to have to waste a bomb on a small. I didn't think it through because I'm used to having more than like 1,600 cannon damage. So instead, we're going to sit here and twiddle our thumbs during a reload. Uh, let's go see if we can find some more ships to sink. I'd like to hit server line here, but I don't know that I trust it. Right now would be the prime time to be reloading, actually. All right. Let's get better about casting this stuff. It's a large. We're going to start with our icebreaker. Big surprise, I know. That arc protection really helps your crew. It, it almost doubles their armor. Oh, yeah, yeah we're going to give it a regular cannon shot. Probably didn't play that very well. <laughs> the world is safe. Uh, boat's in pretty good shape. We're just sleeping alone. The cannons don't need reloaded. We're gonna go after the sanctuary and. If that small was anything but a fishing, we'd go after it first, but it's a fishing. Mm -hmm. 
We've got two engineers on here. That's why I always like to use my icebreaker first so that it's generally available to me again. Come on, shoot me, buddy. There we go. That didn't do very good. We're gonna have to smoke shot this one. Start our cast, jump forward, drop our cast, our mushroom, drop our meteors, drop our spike. I should have done poison first. I forgot. thing. Uh, we need to go through a repair cycle. When I'm in a repair cycle, I always do sales first. Um, when I'm in a, using expedites, I always do cannons first. We'll talk about why in just a second. So the reason I always do uh, guns first using expedite is because guns are the most valuable stat for PVM. You wanna hit hard. For PvP, sales are the most important. You want to get away fast. We're just going to use our explosive here. Goodness, that sucked. We're not killing that fisherman. We need cooldowns. Uh, we'll start with the medium. Buff up. Even though it's just a medium, it's a uh, it's a demon. They're gonna do their bleeds. Wait till we're within fifty to do our next spyglass. Oh, we've got a character over here. That help on the boat. Uh. Oh, we've got two vials. Nice. We're going to do the south one first. No, we're going to do the southwest one first. I know where I am, and I'd rather go south last. Um, now I'm going to change my mind again. We're going south first. this impoundment. Make sure our buffs stay up when we're doing characters for sure. Icebreaker will be up in just a second. Well, click that weird network for a second. We're gonna give this guy a smoke shot because we don't want to accidentally sink it. Huh? 
probably a bad choice because now I'm gonna have to use a bomb. Oh, hello. Damage to me. Come on, somebody die. Ships that respawn because we just drove through there. Uh, we're gonna take two shots to sink this one. I kind of want to pay attention to some other stuff for a second. We'll go after that ghost and then we'll go to the west to get that other carrick. drinking my morning coffee. That was what I was paying attention to. Once we're within 50, we want to get our glass. Always watching for other PBMers. I think we should be glassing that character. If somebody sank it, or if we just moved out of range and I wasn't paying attention. Hey, we are so ridiculous. Yeah, that wasn't taming. Not super valuable right now, but I suspect taming scrolls will eventually be more valuable. We've been talking about a tamer ogre hall. I gotta look at Discord, somebody pinged me. Hey, there it is. Good deal. I mean, I wouldn't mind finding a player either, but we're kind of doing PBM stuff this morning. They're white on that. Oh, somebody ran away from us. Shit. Look at that. He saw us coming. I wonder where they are. Might get some PvP. I probably should have just let that sink because now somebody knows that I sank it. DK in 25 minutes. Not our best run, to be honest. We've been sinking a lot of smalls and stuff, though. Kind of just... <laughs> as horrible as it sounds, kind of just relaxing this morning. Hmm. I thought we might see somebody on this one. We need to be careful. We're going to be engaging with the assumption that there's PvP coming. I mean, so I'm gonna... Actually, yeah. We're going to be more careful. Cognizant. We're just gonna wait for this to tick down. It's funny, the threat of PvP always makes me sit up straighter. <laughs> just, just kinda, let's do this. sinks it, so we can leave. I'm 
this is a medium so it gets an icebreaker. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this one one more time. 2400 is a lot. I should really look closer and make sure I'm hitting the one in the middle. I do that occasionally. I'm not really paying attention to it right now. Need 100 because we gave it that extra smoke shot, so we can sink this one with one shot. Over to the orc. Uh, the orc. The orc may be stuck in a channel. We may not be doing it. I was wrong. You gotta be careful here not to get rammed. The last thing you can do is get rammed. This is super dangerous. I don't like it. I'm backing up. I don't like having a nose in like that. Kind of forgot to do expedites. It's been a while since I've done this build. track so we're gonna go to a reload we could expedite here but uh, nothing on track we may end up repairing outside of cooldown I lied we're gonna repair guns Saving. I'm gonna have to click all that shit again. I failed miserably. Hit that glass at the wrong moment. 35 is pretty safe to say it's not on the other side of it. Oh, we came in here with the wrong crap. One thing I did some eyes for it to pull down. We did that in the wrong order, but whatever. Take an extra call. It's the price for me, but it's not.
our cooldowns are off. Um, we're going to go in a repair cycle, even though we don't really need it, just to kind of reset. Hundred and twenty, thirty-three, yeah. about forty per. Um, sinks this. <laughs> eh, we've been out for 30 minutes or so. I think we're going to call this video good. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, all that good shit that everybody always tells you to do. Uh, I very much enjoy this content, so I hope you do too. Tell me what you'd like to see. Um, I've gotten some really good suggestions lately, and so I've had a lot of fun showing them off. And uh, if if you guys want to hit me up on Discord, uh, name's Brozan out there on the official Outlands Discord, or leave comments below in the YouTube video. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it.